Hello everyone, my name is Titus and today we are going to derive expression for electric field due to a dipole along equatorial line. So consider a dipole consisting of two charges plus Q and minus Q separated by a distance of 2A. Let P be any point at our distance of <coughs> x from the center of the dipole dipole on the equatorial line. Okay. Let us illustrate this with the help of a diagram. So consider a dipole consisting of two charges a plus q and a minus q separated by a distance of 2a. Let this be the midpoint such that the equatorial line passes through the midpoint. So distance from the positive charge to the midpoint let it be A and from here it be again A. Let P be any point on the equatorial line. If you put a test charge at point P then the positive charge will have a tendency to repel it and the negative charge will have a tendency to attract it. So we can illustrate this with the help of a arrow diagram. So this positive charge will tend to push it. Let the electric field due to the positive charge be E1 and due to negative charge be E2. So E1 will repel it and E2 will attract it. Let this distance from here to here be x. Then from here to here the distance it will be x square plus a square under root by applying Pythagoras theorem and this length also will be equal to x square plus a square again by applying Pythagoras theorem. <coughs> this line is the axial line and this line is the equatorial line. So let us draw a line parallel to the axial line passing through point P like this. Let this angle be theta, this angle also theta. So in this line is parallel to this line. So if this is theta, this angle is also theta. These are corresponding angles and this angle is also theta with respect to this. So there's a alternate angles. Now we can resolve electric field E1 and E2 into two components along equatorial line and along axial line. So E1 I can write about this as E1 cos theta and about this I can write to be E1 sin theta. Similarly for E2 I can write about the horizontal line E2 cos theta and about the vertical line as E2 sin theta. So let the resultant electric field along horizontal line B E x where E x will be equal to E 1 cos theta plus E 2 cos theta since they are directed in the same direction we will add them up. So it will be E 1 cos theta plus E 2 cos theta and uh, 
So this is the horizontal axis and about horizontal axis we have E x is equal to E1 cos theta plus E2 cos theta and uh, let uh, the resultant electric field along vertical axis be EY where EY will be equal to E1 sin theta minus E2 sin theta since E1 sin theta and E2 sin theta are oppositely directed so we subtract them so if you find out E1 we get E1 is equal to k q by x square plus a square under root whole square which is equal to k q by x square plus a square similarly e2 is equal to k q by x square plus a square under root whole square which will come to k q by x square plus a square <coughs> so from this we can see that e1 is equal to e2 in magnitude e1 is equal to e2 in magnitude so now putting the value in ex and ey we get ex will be equal to k q by x square plus a square into cos theta plus k q by x square plus a square into cos theta or we can write this to be 2 k q by x square plus a square into cos theta solving further we can write 2 k q by x square plus a square into value of cos theta is cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse I can write that to be a by x square plus a square under root and we can further write it to be 2 k q a divided by x square plus a square to the power 3 by 2. Now for e y. So we know that E y is equal to E 1 sin theta minus E 2 sin theta or that is k q by x square plus a square sin theta minus k q by x square plus a square sin theta. Since both are equal and we are subtracting it it will come to 0 so we can see our resultant electric field is only directed along x axis uh, which is equal to E x is equal to k q uh, it is 2 k q a by x square plus a square whole to the power 3 by 2 if a is very very small as compared to x then it can be neglected so now our expression reduced to e x is equal to 2 k q a divided by x cube we also know that P is equal to 2 Q into A where P is a net dipole moment. So I can write E x is equal to K P by x Q where E x becomes the electric field along equatorial line. We also know that K is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. So we can also write E x is equal to P by 4 pi epsilon 0 x cube. This is a final expression for electric field along equatorial line due to a dipole.